if you're using Lightroom and editing your photographs, you need to know how to export these images perfectly for the web. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. What's up nerds? Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about exporting your files out of Lightroom. But before we do that, we should talk about today's poll. And it's not really a poll at all, but something you guys did on the last video was you guys mentioned where you were from because I had said I was in California and it was hot. And I got people from France, from Connecticut and all kinds of places. So I'm curious, if you leave your comments down below. Where are you from? I'm curious to see where people uh, are when they're watching these videos. I think it's pretty awesome. Analytics will show me this stuff, but I don't care about analytics. I want to hear it from you, from you lovely people. All right, let's jump into it. So exporting your files out of Lightroom to put on the internet. Now, if you're someone like me, you might need to export your files out to put them on the website. But if you're not someone like me and you don't have a website, you're probably still posting them somewhere, whether it's Flickr or 500 pixels or Facebook, Instagram, any of that kind of stuff is considered the internet. And so if you're not someone that's posting in any of those places, then I don't know really what world you're living in, but nonetheless, you're still going to need to export your stuff out. So in this video, I want to show you how to export your files out for the web particularly because there's one little tip that I don't see a lot of people talk about and I think it's really important. So let's jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. All right, so here I am and I've got this image that I want to post to the internet. If I just pull up the information on here, you can see that it's really large. It's about 5,000 by 3,000 pixels. I'm rounding these numbers off, but it's a really large file. I don't want to take a file that big and post it to the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to export. We're going to just, just to get started. I like to just choose the burn full size JPEG option because from here I can manipulate pretty much everything about it. Uh, I'm going to choose where I want to save this. So I'm going to check the hard drive and then export to what I'm going to do is I want it to ask me where to put this file at the very end. If you're someone who already has designated a folder, then just pick that folder. But since I haven't done that and mine seems to fluctuate from time to time, I'm just going to use the option choose folder later and you'll see what happens at the very end. So here's where we get into the meat and potatoes. You could choose to rename this file if you like. I'm just going to choose something like web. So it'll put this web uh, prefix on the end. But here's the magic, okay? This is the big one that I don't really see a lot of other photographers talking about. I'm gonna leave the image format at JPEG. That's a pretty universal file. It'll work great everywhere. I'm gonna leave the color space at sRGB because as smart as the internet is, it's really not that smart. Do you know that the internet can't read all the colors in the rainbow? That's crazy to me. Anyways, so since it can't read all the colors, sRGB is a limited color space. It's, it's, it's going to take the file, convert the colors so that it looks the best on the internet or whatever web platform you're using. If you don't do this, it's going to try and figure it out for you and the colors will probably not look right when you post it to the web. So you're going to do this, but even this isn't the tip. The tip is the limit the file size to. Right now this box is not checked, but if you're someone like me who's running a website, there's really no need to put a file size that's larger than about 300K. If you start putting a bunch of files on your website that are larger than the 300K mark, you're gonna notice your website over time start to bog down and slow down because it's trying to handle all of these files. I know because it happened to me and I'm still trying to fix this problem. So what you're going to do is limit the file size down to 300 K. This is not to be confused with the pixel size. We're going to do that later. What this is going to do is optimize the best pixels for this 
file size and it'll do all the math in the background and give you a file that's not larger than 300K but is the perfect resolution for whatever pixels we choose. Which takes me to the next part which is resize to fit. So I'm gonna choose resize to fit. I want it to pick the long edge. So whether it's long this way or whether it's long this way, it really doesn't matter. It's gonna know that whatever the long edge is, the long edge should be no bigger than whatever I tell it to. So in this case, I'm gonna say, I don't want my pixels to be larger than 1200 pixels. That's perfect for the web. It's still large, but no one can steal it and it'll still look on the internet, look good on the internet. The last thing though that's very, very important is to choose the resolution size and take that from 300 or 240 as it is here and take it down to 72. This is the industry standard for web-sized files. So there's not gonna be a lot of pixel density so no one can really print this or blow it up. It's not gonna be larger than 300 kilobytes and it's gonna be 1200 pixels on the long edge. These are the settings that you really wanna dial in for the perfect web file. After that, since it is going on the internet, I do always recommend that we add a little bit of screen sharpening, even though you've probably already sharpened it, it's probably a good idea to do this. So we're just gonna sharpen it as standard amount and we're gonna leave metadata, watermarking, post-processing alone. You can decide to do whatever you want with your file as it relates to these things, but it really is not gonna make or break the main things that we've talked about. So once you're done with this, you're not gonna want to do this every single time. That would not be very smart. And we wanna work smarter, not harder, nerds. So what we're gonna do is save this as a preset. We're gonna hit add, and then you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it blog, put it wherever. It's not gonna let me do this because I've already done this, but I recommend that you do it for the first time. Hit okay. So what that means is now every time you want to send a file to the internet, you have this preset. So now that we've created the preset, let me show you how it, easy it is to use it. I'm going to cancel out of here as if you've already made the preset and we're starting over new. You would just hit export, go to blog or whatever you called it and hit export. And then we get here. This was that part I was telling you. At the very end, it's gonna ask you where you wanna save this file to. You can save it to the desktop or your hard drive. Hopefully you have a folder structure in place. If you don't, you should really read this blog post. I'll leave a link down in the description below as to organizing your folders and setting up a good folder system. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on the desktop and hit open and boom. As soon as I hear that noise, I can head over to the desktop and then bam, there's my file. If I look at the info, you'll see that the file dimensions are 1200 by 800, which is awesome. But then if I look at the size up here, you'll see that it's 287 kilobytes. So it figured out mathematically what the best uh, size for this resolution that I chose was gonna be, and it gave me that. So now I've got the perfect file ready to load to the internet and it will look beautiful and not bog my stuff down. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome content. Smash that like button. And again, leave us a comment down below. Where are you hitting us up from? We wanna know. Thank you so much. My name is Adam, I'm out.